Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel and welcome to my first ever studio vlog. This is so exciting. This is something I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Um, I've wanted to start back up my YouTube channel and start doing studio vlogs, showing you kind of into my day, into my week, what I'm doing as an artist, graphic designer. Um, yeah, so I'm so excited to finally be doing it. Um, it is week six of quarantine. Oh my gosh, I cannot even believe it. It's been six weeks already. That is insane. Um, it is week six of quarantine. I decided to look decent today. I changed out of my PJs. I put on a nice face of makeup. And yeah, I'm so excited for this week. It is my last week of classes. Hallelujah. It is my last week of classes as a senior in college. Now granted, our classes are online right now due to the whole COVID-19. Um, but I have a lot of work to do this week. This week is going to be a really busy week um, from home. <laughs> but that's kind of why I wanted to start doing these studio vlogs this week. Because I think it'll be a really fun, action-packed week. I'm just going to take you along with my week. We're going to have fun. We're going to chill. I'm going to show you the art that I'm working on. Projects that I'm working on. Um, a little bit into my Etsy shop. I have a lot of Etsy orders to finish today. So I'm going to show you kind of how I package those up. Um... But yeah, I'm basically going to take you through my week, show you what I'm doing, show you what I'm working on, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun, and I'm so excited. So for those of you who don't know me, hello, my name is Hannah Brown. I am a 22-year-old graphic designer, illustrator from Ohio, a very small town in Ohio. However, hopefully after all of this COVID-19 craziness passes, I'll be moving to the metro Detroit area. That's the plan. A lot has been happening in my life right now, and I could sit here and talk for hours um, about the craziness that is my life right now, but I think I'm gonna do a separate video on that, kind of an update video, um, plans after college, uh, what I plan on doing after this COVID-19 thing. I'm currently unemployed, but I'm looking for full-time job opportunities, which as anybody knows right now, is nearly impossible, especially for graphic designers. So I'm struggling. I'm really, really struggling. And I think I might do a separate kind of quarantine COVID-19 update video about where my life's at, what my plans are. So if you'd like to see that video, um, just let me know. So what we're gonna do now, what we need to work on now, I sat down and I wrote in my planner um, some of my to-dos for this week. I still have more that I need to write down and my to-dos for today. Recently, I've seen a huge influx of orders and I have all of these orders, I think there's like 20, that um, I have to finish up today because I, if those of you again who don't know, I have my own Etsy shop, Doodlebug Designs by HB. I'll leave it linked down below. I make cute Disney stickers and Disney t-shirts and I put a clear laminate over my stickers and it didn't come until yesterday. Here it is. And so I had a huge influx of orders that I couldn't do because I didn't have my clear laminate. So basically I labeled all the envelopes and I got the stickers printed and ready. And now I'm gonna take you guys through covering the stickers, cutting them out and packaging them up. So let's go.
Alrighty, so an hour and a half later, is it, I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 11 and I started these around 9.30. So yeah, like an hour and a half later, I have my Etsy orders done, um, except for the ones I got four last night. So except for those, I will do those tomorrow because I have quite a bit that I need to do today. And 19, 20 Etsy orders was plenty to do this morning. So we're going to run these out to the mailbox. My puppy has been extremely patient with me. Um, so we're going to go let him out and yeah, go get some more coffee because I drank all of mine. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am addicted to these things. Ask my boyfriend. I buy these by the pack. I love these things. The Starbucks Frappuccinos. Oh man. I am addicted to these things, but I need an actual cup of coffee. So I need to run downstairs and get my creamer so I can make myself one. So let's go on a little adventure. Okay, I'm back. I got my package. I'm so excited. Okay, so basically what is in this package? I found this shop online. It's called Wishes Candle Company and they make candles that smell like Walt Disney World, like different attractions at Disney, different parts of Disney, and I'm so excited. For those of you who don't know, I used to work at Disney, so I was so excited to find this shop because one of my favorite things of Disney, parts of Disney, of going to Disney is the smells. I love the smells on the different attractions, the smells, the way the smells make you feel. And that's why I was so excited to find this shop and bring that part of that Disney home with me. Their candles have hidden pins in them. So basically once you burn the candle down so much, there's a pin inside, which is so exciting. Um, they also have, uh, room sprays, wax tarts. I got some wax tarts and uh, like aromatherapy oils too. So let's open it up. I'm so excited. Here is the box. <laughs> Wishes Candle Company. A little magic in every candle shipped right to your door. We're going to open it up. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, guys. Okay, so right away it comes with some stickers. Oh gosh, focus. Flynn. <laughs> um, it comes with that one. 
Yeah, and then it comes with just like these cute little stickers. That's so cute. I'm gonna put these in my planner. And then you get this cute little postcard. Unbirthday cake. And it's just the instructions on how to burn their candles. All right, so keep a hold of that. Here are the candles. Okay, so I ordered two of the same scent because one is for my mom and also fellow Disney lover. My favorite ride at Disney World is Spaceship Earth. And one of my favorite parts is when you go around the corner and it smells like Rome is burning. So that's what this one is called. It's called Fallen Rome. All right, I gotta smell it. Oh my gosh, it's glittery. You guys. I'm gonna start crying. I worked at Epcot. I was a photo pass photographer at Epcot. So Epcot is my favorite park, hands down. It <laughs> contained my excitement. Okay, that's the first one. I ordered two of these. I ordered one for me and one for my mom because my mom also loves Spaceship Earth. So um, yeah, this is just another one of those candles. Then I ordered another candle um, called Cannonball Red um from pirates of the caribbean my second favorite ride at disney this is what it looks like also glittery it smells like pirates of the caribbean it's more of a subtle smell it's not as strong as this one but it's more subtle it's kind of sweet almost but there's also a part in the pirates of the caribbean ride where it smells like everything is burning Hmm. That's kind of what it smells like, but sweeter. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I also got some wax tarts. So, because I couldn't afford to buy just all candles. So, um, I bought some wax tarts as well. These are so exciting. I bought wax tarts called Regions Beyond, like the Haunted Mansion. Okay, it's interesting. It smells like incense. That's really what it smells like. Hi, bud. Yeah, it smells like incense. That's, in that's really interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. This one's called Have a Nice Flight. And it's supposed to smell like when you're flying over Fiji in Soren. <laughs> Have a Nice Flight. This candle was sold out. Otherwise, I would have got this one in a candle. So I bought the wax tarts. Oh, it does. So 10 out of 10 would recommend this shop, you guys. It Wishes Candle Company. They have an Etsy shop and a website, I believe. So highly recommend 10 out of 10. I cannot wait to burn these and see what pins I got. I'm so excited. They have so many other Disney related candles. You guys check them out. 10 out of 10 would recommend. But yeah, so I just wanted to do this fun little unboxing for you guys and just show you what I got. And let's continue on with the day. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to end the studio vlog here. Um, it's 615. I actually have quite a bit of footage from today that I filmed. So what I think I'm going to do for this week, at least, I think I'm going to do a daily studio vlog. Ooh, I don't know. I might regret that later. And there might be at least one day this week where I don't film anything. We'll see. But I have a lot from today. And today was a really great day. I was really productive today, really positive. And I have a lot of footage from today. So I think I'm going to make today its own studio vlog. And then try to do one a day this week. We'll see. Um, like I said, it's 6.15, so I'm gonna do my workout for the night, and then I'm gonna go take a shower and play with Flynn for a little bit, eat some dinner, and then curl in bed and watch a movie and finish editing this, so we will see. I don't know yet how this is gonna go. Please give me your feedback. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Introduce yourself if we've never met. Tell me what you liked about this studio vlog and what you didn't. I'm still trying to feel, get a feel for things, what I like and what I don't like and what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. So yeah, feel free to let me know down below what kind of videos you wanna see from me. I have 
a lot going on in my life, as I said. I'm also a podcast host, so I'm trying to be active with our podcast as well. Um, but yeah, feel free to leave a comment down below. Your feedback is really, really appreciated. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next